together, these two pieces of legislation aim to increase the accountability for Canadian corporations that violate human rights in Canada and abroad. As many of you will know, Canadian mining companies uh, are often registered in Canada, uh, partly because Canada has extremely lax um, regulations. And so, Canadian, so companies, even if they are not actually from Canada, often base their, their, um, their companies in this country. And then when we look at the situation where many countries where mining happens abroad have, have, have poor democracies, have, have weak human rights protections, workers and communities are violated. What Bill C-262 does, and the short title is the Corporate Responsibility to Protect Human Rights Act, is uh, oblige hum uh, Canadian corporations operating abroad uh, to do due diligence and ensure that they're meeting the obligations around human rights. It also provides to ensure that corporations that commit these, uh, these uh, appalling human rights violations, the victims actually have recourse in Canadian court. This is absolutely essential. We have seen Canadian corporations linked to appalling and atrocious violations of human rights. Slavery, torture, murder, systemic sexual violence, all linked to Canadian corporations. And up until now, uh, many of those appalling violations of human rights have occurred with impunity. If the Canadian corporations are not being responsible, often there is no established or independent or non-corrupt non judicial and policing system to ensure that the victims actually receive the justice to which they are so deserving of receiving. I would just like to say that we are all aware of the horrific burden of needless human suffering in the world and the tremendous stress that our natural environment is under. Canadian companies should not be adding to these burdens. It is time for Canada to quit stalling, quit caving to mining industry lobbying, and move to implement the private members' bills that have been tabled today. 